Okay, well, look at that. We should be live. Uh, yeah, let's make sure we're all good. How are we doing, everybody, in my chat? We've got three people here, which is a great start. Um, it's better than two people. Um, and here we are. Oh, Christ, I've not under opened this yet. Here we are. Hello. I'm going to turn that light off. It's annoying me, and now my hair's all funny. Right, okay. Let's uh, quickly deal with that. Let's deal with that. Nah, that's cooler. Get the controller. See, I'm getting better at fucking hell. My phone just went down there. All right, lovely. Okay. Well. Okay, let's uh, see what we're doing today. So, we're in Saint Denis. I had to change my t-shirt because I sweated through the other one because I do that. I, I go through like three t-shirts. When you know the next, do you know when the next Assassin's Creed is going to turn out? Come out. 2020 would be my best guess, but it's just a guess. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new, and we're going to kick off in St. Denis. So, now, before we do Angelo Bronto, which is a saloon... Oh, shit. I got a friend request from the Black Sheep, which is uh, my favourite friend request of all time. So, we're going to go do the Vampire, I think. Since we're in St. Denis, we want to explore the city. Oh. It's the most organic to search it now before we do the Angelo Bronte shenanigans. Because Arthur's, you know, getting started trying to find him. Hey, Who's friend, this man? Come here a minute. Trust me. You want to hear this. I promise. You're going to want to hear this. Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now, it's too open here, but um, follow me and we'll He's going to try to rob me. All right, so here's what I have in mind. <laughs> I've just been, finally, damn I've just just been knocked out, folks. okay. Come on, let's I thought I'd have some time to fight back. Somewhere. Oh, well. How much have I lost now? That is the question. Just been left in a bent. I've just been left in a park. Oh, well. Yeah, I've lost your hat. It can be retrieved at your horse or wardrobe. Oh, no. The stole my hat. I'm in a graveyard. That's great. I love being a... As if they've stolen 700. That's bullshit. Right, okay. Not losing $700. He's going to rob you. Yeah, I know he's going to rob me. You hate Lemoyne. Okay. You can't get the money back. Nope. That's why I'm reloading. I thought there'd be an opportunity to fight back. Obviously not. Just get punched. You can't get the money back once you've lost it from those. So don't follow him in. But I was thinking there'd be a chance to fight back, even though I knew that he was going to rob me. What am I doing down here? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not actually that far away from here where I want to be. Come on, girl. Okay, so... So, I know what I'm doing now. I'll be chatting shit to Grandad. I want to hunt the vampire. That's what we want to do, because that's fun. M inspect mysterious writing. Now, what does this one say? Oh, sweetest of napes, may your blood remain forever on my lips. Six there will be before lust is sated. Okay, cool. That's that's two of three got. We got one at this the end of the last stream. Now the next one is down here a ways. Okay. What's that noise? Someone Hey! Leave that man be! I won't forget this! 
You all right? Oh, thank you, mister. What an honorable man I am. for my gratitude. Please. Keep it. You be careful now. Sound and ease breeds sickness. So you're refusing rewards is good for your honor. Partner. Hey, partner. And here is where this vampire marking is. It's here. And it reads... And it reads as follows. With one long kiss I draw the life from her and await the outpost of advancing day. Okay, now... I always find this is the, quite the comical um, little encounter, because you... yeah. The next one is there, I'm going to say. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's correct. I'm going to need my horse to uh, get its intelligence together and meet me on the street. This is what the alley I walked down when the guy was like, oh, want to earn some quick money? Out, madam. Oh, hello. Sorry. Hey there. Oh, wow. Oh, hello there. What a colourful city Sunday is. Manners cost nothing. Hi oh, there, mister. Hey, cat. <laughs> hey cat. Just greets the cat. Yep, say hello to the cat. Not a bad town you got here. Stay here. I'm gonna have to be careful because I could lose on if the mountain my horse there for no reason. Now, if you get the, the vampire to chase you for long enough, eventually he becomes civilized. Um, which is quite funny. What on earth are you up to? But we're not going to do that. There's plenty of time to talk about Assassin's Creed um, tomorrow when I stream it. I feed again the blood of life, the circle has begun. Now, I intend on streaming it tomorrow because the DLC if you get me so now I believe we're gonna want to be along here-ish which means I'm gonna have to go through this area which means it could trigger the mission and if it does just have to come back to it won't we yes okay there we are I knew it would be somewhere along here. See, I can remember these off the top of my head. That's how good I am now. So there we've got a pentagram. What time is it? What time are we on? 2.31am. Maybe if we go there now we can catch him. Uh, okay, so that's this is here. I doubt it'll be possible. I doubt it'll be tonight because, you know, you never, you never know. I managed to get the... Um, the saloon shut down when I was, you know, trying to trigger it for Cameron. Who made managed to make it civilized, which is quite funny. See, nothing here. But this is where the vampire kind of chills. So I guess we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow night, which means Kippo in the bed time. Howdy. Goodbye, sir. Yeah. Allow me up on this fat here horse. Yeah, this is the bit where it's going to kick off what on me, so I'm going to have to do the Angelo Bronte mission before I can continue with the, the Vampire of Saint Denis. But that's fine. There's plenty of time to continue the Vampire mission. Look at how high my honor is, sirs. Hello. Hello there. You how do you do? Got any idea what time it is? I don't know. Sorry. Here we are, Bronte mission. Stick him up, cowboy. Mm, good old Dutch having a laugh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, 
Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. Took me a while Barricade to get the vampire to spawn. This city's all of the same to me. So, you can't deny the fish he made a channel his channel is on the screen channel. No, he has not, he's done the opposite. This game is vampires, but no zombies. Fuck Rockstar. I have not made my channel an Assassin's Creed channel. I have made my channel a channel about Red Dead Redemption 2 for a while as well. And people enjoyed that. People enjoyed the Assassin's Creed content. There's plenty there. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of the morning for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So I just lost two dollars. Mister. Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Someone banned me already, fuck. Well, if you were banned, I wouldn't be able to see your messages. Bronte? Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new, that would be great. spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. He makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Ask around about Bronte in the alley. Hey, friend. It's suddenly daytime. Now, this sulking doesn't become you. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. That's a bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. Mm. Yeah, plenty of time for right that right one. There. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine... Oh stools. no, Cleet is nicking my shit. You little pair of shit! Get going! He's coming after us! Stop! Shit! Why doesn't he just keep riding the carriage? Right now. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, 
goddamn street trash. You after that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Damn snitch! Oh, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Oh, no. You better stop right now! Okay. I'm slowly but surely getting better at this chasing the random you. Ha! You think the fence can stop me? Nothing can stop me. Not even privacy. I'm right on your ass, you little shitbag. Oh no, I nearly got run over by the tram. This would have been a funny experience. Okay. Morning. Ask him about the ute that he just passed. I'm telling you, a cucumber. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Now done seen everything. Hey folks. You got that? So tired. Howdy, fellas. Fun, mister. I like you. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'll kill you, thieving bastard. Oh, here we are. What's the problem, friend? Kids Give with guns. Things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. I got my money back. I consider it a refund. Return to Dutch near the saloon. Well, something down here. Hey, will you help a fella out? Uh. Let's Come give him on. some money. Get yourself some real I food. I know you huh? got some money. Mm. Listen, you have to take homeless this. people in San are nice. Ooh, that's real kind. I lost my money, babe. Oh, God. Oh. funny how women want to have the same rights as men, but as soon as we beat women, like we would beat a man, they'd free cat. Chris, you're supposed to be a moderator. How are you? Good morning. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Good morning. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning to you. Young sir. Morning. Where you been? Getting 
robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. Oh. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Yes, will I have time here to not go and rob a fucking cemetery? And actually just, you know, do the dirty deed images? I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. How oh, very fucking unhelpful. Hello. Uh, buenos dias. <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. What's this? Plenty of time to go about doing dirty deeds with dirty sirs. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? mm, Oh, no. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? The best story asshole. game ever, for mm. sure. I like this story. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> Mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. For it, it's... If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. -doo. <laughs> uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Wow, the light really opens up there. Oh, there's another question mark. Who's this one? Oh, hello. Right. I wanted to record this one. One second. Because I know this is important, so let's stand away from here while my recording software decides to actually turn the fuck on. It's just so temperamental. What I want to do is actually record it, is all. Make sure it doesn't turn off. Yeah, it's fine. Can you spare a little? I so can. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you. I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. 
I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. There is another there's another moment that, you know. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Oh, no. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Okay, investigate the shop. The saint -Denis fence has a really dark secret. Hey okay there. Morning. Back off or soon. Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been How's seen that? around here? Can't help you there. Good morning, mister. Thank you for your help. No, Look, hey, keep partner. your hands to yourself. Fine morning. What's your goddamn problem? Excuse me, partner. Oh, oh, Good morning, ma'am. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Hello there. Hola. I, I am in a good mood for some reason. Todo se arregla. Can you imagine Dutch as a priest? Can't be good. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Son of a bitch. Wow. Hello? Cállate, cállate. Hay alguien ahí? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. It's not nice, is it? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Por favor. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. Look at them just squaring up to me in here. It's a bit of a dark place. A bit of a dark secret for the uh, Sandini fence. Thank you, Fishy. Very wholesome. Don't you already know the story? Rob the register and give them the money. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Oh shit, I could have given the cash to the captives then. Oh no. 
Oh, Christ, as if I've just lost... I thought... I should think slower. Right, let's see if we can restart this. Retry checkpoint. Let's try again, shall we? Okay, my honor's back to where it was. Alright, let's go. That's you. Come on. You'll be safe soon. There's there. a lot more there when they need it. Take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. Return to the monk. This Good way. move. Not much farther. Poor bastards. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Help a brother out. What a solid little thing that is. Well, look at this place. It's just not nice, is it, that fence? Where are you going, then? It's just cool, isn't it? It's just there's a lot of stuff in here, and as you can see on this shelf. Right, now this is the fascinating bit. So you've got all this stuff in here, right? You've got masks on the wall, you've got paintings over here. But if you look over here, right? Look at that thing. It's a bloody mask of creepy man. That door's locked. What's in his chest, eh? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Can we get back in the the basement though? No. Cool. Well, this is a dead place, isn't it? So we're here. So if anyone wants to, if anyone doesn't know where that is and they haven't seen that before, this is the fence, which is here. <sighs> Have we done the vampire thing yet? No, I've been putting it off. That's my next job. My next job is the vampire. Um... Hey, move it. Excuse me, sirs. Kindest behavior. sirs. Loveliest sirs. Hello, gentlemen. Mister? Ma'am? Hello. How's it going with you? Well, there's something going on here. Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. It's only temporary. This will all be sorted out soon, I promise. Hey, the whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I what? need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just needed... All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. 
just be sure not to around the place too much. I have a better gun for this kind of thing, I call it the exterminator. How did it survive a shotgun then? Stay still you fucking thing. Turns out it's impossible to hit a rat with a shotgun. Oh god. Well I've done this great, haven't I? Truly wrecked his place. I'm gonna find this last rat. I can hear it, I just can't see it. There's always one way. So much for that. Whenever I bugger something, that's what I'd do. Dynamite, Ethan. Yeah, dynamite does that. You get arrested for it. And, you know, it's not good for you. It's not that's illegal. On the shelf, come one on the counter. I killed that one. Well, news is I haven't got my honor back and I've still got a bounty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly... Ah! Right. This is frustrating. Let's go back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay off the bounty. I fucking love, right? Okay, now hear me out. I love it when you work for ages trying to get honor and you don't get any. You don't get any honor at all. But the moment you do something that you shouldn't, like if you ride your horse a little bit funny, you lose so much bloody honor, don't you? See that? Hi there. Hey, friend. Just trying to get my honor back up. Hey, mister. Hi. Mister. Hello. <laughs> Fucking blowing up a restaurant to kill rats. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Can't Hello, you just mister. Cool it? No one's a big fan of me now. So yeah, my honor's well and truly gone down. It's probably gonna stay that way. Oh, there's back. It's back where it was. How do you do? If you would give me a minute, please. No, come. Let me pay my five dollar bounty for blowing up a restaurant. All right. Thanks for your assistance. Those honors are a pain in the ass. Especially when you're trying to solve their issues, like, just because I bombed the place to exterminate it. Just gaining honor is fucking impossible in this game, and yet losing it is so easy. 
Like, you could talk to everyone and you'll get no one whatsoever. Like, you'll get on a point, but it won't actually amount to anything. See? How do I get that all the way to the top? Won't care once it's there, because then I'll have the trophy, won't I? Suffolk punch. Hi. Hello. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. What else could you need? To happiness. One book to truth. One book to the future. My book. Why is there so many things to distract you in something? Eternal joy. Money. Be rich. Sir, madam, make something of yourselves. I love you and want to make you happy. Hello, sir. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? The sure, terrorist I'll direct. take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Sure. Let's keep this book. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Oh, oh no, no, no. no. What part of. <laughs> See if you can interact with him further, man. You know what? Fucking yeah. aim a gun at him. Monsieur? Oh. The love of all that is holy. Please, can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Ah, shut up! Hey, what's your pleasure? Can I get a room, please? Okay, room's all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. Ma'am. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. Oh, well, she's not nice, Lillian. Careful, lady. Okay. Hey there. Hello. Not a big fan of her. <clears throat> See, I managed to. Gentlemen, you're embarrassing yourselves. You're not even good drunks. Hello, ma'am. Salut, mon mignon. Let's sleep until night time. Shut up, Lillian. Shoot the lady. Buy a bath and sell the cow. Buy a bath water. Nah, no. One of the people. She's one of the people in one of the cigarette cards. Why is she notable though? She's just chit. She's just sitting in a Saint Denis saloon. Don't understand. Right, let's try it this way. Je vous salue. Christ. Oi. There we go. Now call that skill, if you will. Okay. Because I did a... Let's hope the vampire shows up, because I can't be arsed with it not. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. It's like it drifts over when you do that. Yep, the vampire has spawned. I can tell because there's a cross on the map. We're going to get the shotgun out ready, I think. Let's go on him. So, you found me. Indeed I did. Hey, 
What are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> What, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're no more vampire than I am. I'll suck you dry. Well, we've dealt with this man, sir. Where's the ornate dagger? Pick it up, we've got an ornate dagger, everybody. And we're keeping it. Okay then, girl. Pretty standard. Let's go see what Brother Darkins wants before or Dawkins Darkins. Brother Donkins. Brother Dunkle Monkle Sponkle Conkle. Hey there, mister. Hello, mister. Fine here. Please. Please. It is M Hey, mister. Mm. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh sir. Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. <laughs> none taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's cads to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be out the cathedral. Oh no, I'm not the gay he's not when I was a girl. Find the kid who and recover the crucifix. <laughs> Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank. Thank you. Hey, partner. Hello. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn. Hey, way. you! Get your hands off of that boy right now. He stole my watch. Right now. Before I smash your head in that wall. All right, all right. Get it. Little shit ain't worth it. Thanks, mister. You got lucky this time, kid. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. Oh, no. You sure? Hey. What? I know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ah, now. I mean, uh, hey, Help. Uh, Help! Hold on. This man is bothering me! Now. Someone help me! Officer! Help. Oh god! <laughs> Mrs. Downs is now a prostitute in um Johnny, that's not good news. I love getting bounty in missions. Nothing fulfills me quite like getting bounty in missions for no fucking reason. It's a pig. I think we're chill here, but you can never be too sure. That fed really wants to give to give chase.
It's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? <laughs> Brother Dorkins was right Arthur about Arthur Morgan looks you nice at this month. You are the most wonderful man. John Moss was right Dorkins to hate something, eh? Yeah. Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. If I still have bounty now, I'm gonna go kill children. It's just how it goes. Oh. No, I'm fine. Officer. Hello. So, we run into Mrs. Downs. Um, this is a, this is a side mission I actually didn't do, you know, first time around. So it's good to you know experience it. We've killed the bloody vampire. Now what's that? Like I said, no rush to do the main story. Jack Marston's in no danger, so although he would be eager to get the boy back, uh, who cares? Fuck him. He's three. There are more important hands. I doing? Climb the fucking fence! Yes, yes, you, sir. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, the mercies no, of knowledge. <laughs> What is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? I don't need that much, oh, just right, a lot. I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. Oh, yeah. gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy, Rose. Sort of old at the Rose Station. Why do I have bounty here again? I thought we cleared this issue up, though. There's plenty of time to get um, shine from Hello, boy. Rhodes. Okay, let's. Um... Hey, boy. You are in for a sight, my friend. Just as soon as I get my hands on that methanol. What a helpful fellow. Methanol. Yeah. Oh no. I get the vibe he's gonna die. Hey, mister. There's no point in going back to Rose yet, so there's plenty of time to deal with that guy. I've never run into that guy either, see? There's a lot of stuff that I've missed out on in Sunday. <laughs> oh, oh, where did he go? What the hell? Where did he come from? See that? I've lost a lot more honor than I could hey, ever buddy. gain from one little mistake. Hey. Fucking annoying this game, isn't it? Sometimes, <laughs> how easily you lose honor for little blips and mistakes, and how quickly <laughs> you can't get it back. Welcome back. Ready for a clean slate? <sighs> That's day, evil. Man. He's a good player. Southern for science. Do I have to? Do I have to greet the entirety of bloody Saint Denis just to get off of this little, this little plateau of honour that we're at, where we can't seem to get to the top of the scale? 
guarantee if I went around massacring something, I'll be at the bottom of the scale inside 20 minutes. This is the wrong side of the road, it's not the UK. This is the right side of the this is the correct side of the road. Hey, Let's go tap to our boy Dutch, yeah? What's that? Oh dear god. This is just this is just What's the word? There's just loads of shit going on. There's Marco Dragic down here. I mean, he, he's a pretty sound guy. He exists. Um, this is not my favourite um, side mission of the lot, but cool. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work. Don't they forget to leave a style. like on the stream. Let's try to get as many likes as no we can. Problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of... European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? Mm. No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and, and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? You lose it your own, you lose toy, your hat. Big nuts. It is demonstration. Jesus got of my whipped genius. and nailed by a bunch of men. Love when he said of the UK Rome 3. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> They'll be there now. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Aww. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, <laughs> Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea lines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battle and shoot with torpedo. Why are these things? Why does he put the things that can cause? You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves. The waves that cannot be seen. 
Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? There. I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Oh, Still no. avoiding magnetic mines. No, he'll attempt to release. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Oh no. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. It, and was this not difficult? It was difficult, but it was not difficult for me. <laughs> then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you. Hey, Fishy, how are you doing, mate? What you should do an Etsy or series play to be live streamed, maybe. Life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. I like that uh, one. It's the one where I he, uh... hope you will forgive my European course. Look out! Am I out of sirs to do deed images with? Keep moving, you're in my way. You're in my fucking retarded horse's way as well. So Marco Drogic has just been um, rejected down there. Marco Tragic, as we call him. Angelo Bronte, a man of honor. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Is this the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? 
you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Oh dear. Gaming. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Okay. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. Besides from the guy you whose face we just pummeled against the gate. I'm sure he really thinks we're peaceful. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed Look at have. Arthur there, he just looks a bit out of place. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very steep woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Now they're all sat on a small so, sofa. Uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me? I have you watched Stranger Things? And if you have, do you like it? Oh, I yes, haven't yeah. watched Stranger Things. Of people have taken to Might give it a go. The cemetery. No, that is a Not sure it's for me, for but who knows? <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind. Why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. What a strange predicament that one was. Come on, girl. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No. No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. We found Bronte. <coughs> we got in there. 
Touch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were going to hold well? Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Follow John. Oh, this is the bit where there's a creepy woman, isn't there? If we let John open the... This way. You can see in the distance. Search the cemetery for the grave robbers. There's some creepy shit that goes on in this graveyard. For example... A dog. Pinnacle of creep. Hey there, boy. Then of course if you try the look at this. She runs straight past you. What a dutty gal. She's just running about though. I don't understand she vanishes. She's always great fun. <laughs> Your boy's found my puppy's watch yet. Come from then, sir. Okay. Standard. Damn, laws here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Use the ornate vampire dagger. Let's go around the side. Feels like a Skyrim dagger. Coming. Hide. I found 
found the body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Stick with me. Well, we're out of there. Let's get back to Dutch. There we are. And be sure to grab that. Thanks. Where did you get that dagger? Well, I killed a vampire. Let's just get back there. Collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. I'm sure there's a YouTube video about it. You have to find five wall writings and set you first. Yep. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ha! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. But a fine man. Hey. Friend, uh, thank Mr. Lovely. Bronte for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. This is one of the camp events as well. New camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Behind you. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? <laughs> What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Can I crash into John and send Jack worms? flying? Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're alright. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. <laughs> You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <laughs> Unbelievable. I find that Each quite amusing. Their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? 
A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Ah. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge oh, little Morgan, Jack. thank you. Thank you. Slippers for daytime? Jack. You always want to Jack, kill Jack, Jack, and that's hilarious. How are you, boy? Listen. I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. I don't Happy really help. want to kill the little kid, Jack. Now? Adult Jack is what I'm Stop. trying to avoid. Well... We met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Oh, we got a take out of that. He's back, all right. <laughs> hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Yeah, we're right. Oh, we're oh, we're oh, oh, good. good to have you back, kid. Oh, we yeah. missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song, huh? Oh, yeah. Javier, oh, thank you. Play us away. Guess I can sit on this box here. Mike is just chilling there like who the fuck is this kid No se lo des a nadie si el hito lindo que a mí me toca Es el único que tiene si el hito lindo junto a la boca No se lo des a nadie si el hito lindo que a mí me toca Es el único que tiene si el hito lindo junto a la boca <laughs> it just keeps patting into Micah. Sat there like, what the fuck? This is my tent. This <laughs> is just Micah again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mr. Bell, had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yeah, that's more your style. We'll <laughs> be available for activities for a while. No stopping you, Karen. Ew. I'll be here, good, don't I? He sure does. 
Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. You all right, Charles? Yeah. Hey, taking it all Hello. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Well, I'll let you find folks. You getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink on first. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. It's Kieran. He's not been absconded. If you say so. <laughs> Mangles, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, Jesus I Christ, get so. on my fucking face, you hey, fucking member. <laughs> he just like have faith, Arthur. In the middle of all this, he finds me in the crowd just to tell me to have faith. Oh my god. That's funny. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, very kind. Get drunk and talk to Lenny. Needs to be done. Lenny! This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. And at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, they, he shot the rope. Clean free. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Was you scared? Okay, let's get through as many of these as we can and then find Lenny in the crowd. This might be our last moment to Lenny. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is just back here binge drinking. <laughs> He's just back here binge drinking. Doesn't make any sense. Arthur Morgan binge drinking. <laughs> hey. The Jack's changed it. So good to have you back. <laughs> She's just watching. <laughs> okay. Here we are, binge drinking our life. We're, we're getting an audience as we hug as much alcohol as we can muster. Why is... You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. I'm gonna neck as many of these as I can. Oh no, not again. Matt, when Jack's your age, It'll be the 20th century. <laughs> Nation. <clears throat> but I think I know what that'll be like. I think we've reached a pinnacle of drunk. Because it's not doing anything. Thank you. I'll just watch. Suit yourself, Dan. This is not doing anything, is it? Arthur must have a great metabolism. Yeah, he's just going through him. Let's go see what Hosea has to say for himself. You all right there, Mary Beth? Hey there. Yeah, I'm just uh, watching Mr. it all. Morgan. Go talk to Lenny before you pass out. I've got plenty. Look at, look at. It needs to get really shit before you pass out. Oh, 
<laughs> oh yes, I can see. Very lady. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Where the fuck is my boy Lenny? Look up hold, help him out some muddy hole. Promise when you're fair, you pay. Don't walk away. Oh god, don't. It's all coming back to me. Good times. Well, you take care now. Oh, that's amazing. They defies all the people. Root hog or die. Root hog or die. Very good. That's funny. He's like, oh no. You okay, Pearson? Yes, indeed. Always good Feels to see like you. We can move forward again. Hello. Why are you chatting shit, sir? Right, okay, I've sobered up, actually. That's not good news. Just like that, Arthur Morgan sobers the fuck up. There he is. Old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. Drunk, Arthur. Why are you following me, you drunk. fat man? Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Okay, I'll catch you later then. What's Whatever she doing? You say. Lenny got flashbacks to Lenny. If you drink from the whiskey box, you'll get drunker quicker. That's a point. Maybe we're not ready quite yet. We've got to do our party trick of um, jumping off the balcony of this abandoned gaff. Wee! Right. Find me a fucking whiskey box. Tahiti, <laughs> Fiji. I'm hearing a man talk about. Oh no! <laughs> Don't you go riling Abigail up. I wouldn't dream of it. Just let her have this moment. Mr. Smith, can I get you a libation of some kind? I think I'm all right. All day long on the prairies I ride. Not even a dog to try. Well, it's cool when it's storming and all that. <laughs> it's great. Very dramatic moment. Is this a whiskey box? Please be whiskey. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Because this is how we drink whiskey. Like I said. I already feel kind of drunk. How to drink whiskey, like a sir. If you haven't seen that video, you know, you're not, you're not doing life right. You need, to, you need to watch how to drink whiskey, like a sir. Well, I'm Karen's dead. Dutch the is the cult leader of the Tahitian mango religion. True. I wake up every day at 7.30 just to watch fishing and release my massive load all over my phone. Has returned. I think Dutch always looks constipated. Mr. Smith, how are you? Drinking the fucking alcohol. He's gone kit.
This is how you get pissed. Sharon's done and Arthur is still drinking. Yeah, but Arthur's a fucking animal though. Me too. <laughs> Time is it? It's 3 a.m. Oh, it stays 3 a.m. Does it? Oh, that's what it does. When when you have these moments, it stays 3 a.m. until you sleep. Is that who I think it is? You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Well, I can't think of anything else to say. Okay. Into the gap we go. Market. What now? Yeah, it is staying at the same time. Come here. Is that Kane? Where's Kane? You okay, boy? It's Kane. Micah likes to kill Kane. It's not nice. Poor Charles is probably trying to sleep, but Arthur stood there drowning, <laughs> downing whiskey like a beast. He is though, it's just what he does, it's what he likes. Hang on. Oh god, he <laughs> nearly threw himself out the window. That would have been a bit fucking mental. That nearly turned into a right rigmarole, didn't it? Now he's picking up all the ammunition in his bedroom. This can't be good. Arthur got drunk and now he's picking up ammunition. At least I've got an actual bed this time, or is it the same bed? Different place. Lene, fishy eight. There's one Arthur, really, not of TB, but of alcohol poisoning. I think we kind of expired that evening, didn't we? If you think about it. We had a real good time, but. What is that? My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Well, so much for getting drunk. How does she manage to get the letter to me? So, why does some random yell in the city know where I am? You awake? <sighs> what do you want? You were snoring, that's all. This ain't funny. Strauss is a side mission here. Why don't we go chat with him, see what he has to say.
How far away is he into this bloody bayou? What's he doing all the way down there, the fucking goon? Strauss has his own gaff. He's chilling up with his boys. Just let us say. Letter to Micah from Amos. Micah, thank you for the letter. I suppose I'm glad you ain't been hanged yet, but I'm going to have to insist upon the fact that I, if I see you, won't be no one needs you to hang you. As I will break your neck. No. It ain't that I don't love you because I do. What with you being my family and all, but we'll be done together. But it is I am now a family man, and as you know, I have daughters, as you know. I swore to the Lord of Mighty Lords, protect my daughters from all the evil and wrong in the world. And if only he would help me repent all of that I've done. We was running together, as you know, and that means repenting of you, as you know, and washing my hands of you. Do not attempt to approach me, do not attempt to visit me. Do not claim you know me. If I hear you are within 50 miles of me, I will come and find you and then you'll meet your maker and apologise to him on both our behalfs for them things we did. None of this should come to you as any news. I will shut to receive your letter. Do not write to me again. Your brother, Amos Bell. Mike has got a brother named Amos. He's not a nice sir. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> When are you going to be live tomorrow? I don't know yet. Filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. Right. Okay, so I've got a location that I want to go to. I want to go talk to uh, Alden. He's still here. That was some party last night. Working hard as ever. I make the money, not wash the clothes. Hello, boy. <laughs> Kane, the loveliest sir is Kane. Hey boy. The befriending Kane, he's a lovely man. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now. Me duele la cabeza. Let's go, girl. So I've got a debtor, I've got this side quest to do. Quest. I said the word quest then, it's just a more side mission. Not so much a quest. Tell you what, that debtor is closer and not not a problem. Oh, prisoners, cool. Nobody cares about them. They they can die for all we care. Yeah. When the Amos took care of Micah, he'd still be a repulsive little bastard, wouldn't he? If you think about it. I'm going to take a shortcut. Because I know I can.
Good day, fleshy mammals. Good day, sir, to you as well, sir. How's it going, sir? Goodbye, sir. Hello, sir. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Needs to stop, though. Gonna find some west shit if we're not careful. Probably fishing, so I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and assume to the back of his gaff is accessible. Okay, no. It's too strong a door for me. Ah, debt collecting. Property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Hello, Vichy. How long is it? Right now. How, how's it going? Have you done the Vampire Sandini quest? Yes, I have. Stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's this is gonna there's gonna be something creepy going on, isn't there? Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for. Mm. Now, when this is that drink? I should boy. have. Oh no. Well, this kicked off by accident. We've got a great bash of gamers here. Oh, Mia's here. What's going on? Watch out to you on Ethan. Four. This is chapter four. The, steal the biscuits. Is that okay? Am I allowed to steal the biscuits? Wonder what happened to the serve. Okay. Cool. Well, I could just be rid of his face, but I think I'm going to murder his son instead. <laughs> oh, I love myself too much. Hmm. Nate from Mama. I don't know how many letters I've written now, but I want to start reading. Even the act of writing feels like some connection to you, which is certainly better than the name. The, sorry, the nun. I can't read. I can understand how hurt and angry it must be for walking out on me like you did, but I promise I love you with all my heart. Just couldn't take it any longer. You know your father's temper, especially when he was drinking, which was all the time at the end. I've found work and I'm renting a small house. Just give me the word and I will send for you. We can start both start again. Love always. Mama. Well. I've got a gun. I've borrowed a man's shotgun. Is that okay? It's a bit of a mean gun. Wonder where my boy's gone. I don't want another beating. 
Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from them. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. I'll take it. Didn't lose honor for killing him. Is he dead? He's dead. I've kicked his face in. So he he keeps his he's, he's he's fine. I've murdered a man for no reason. I left his son who's going to have a new start with his mum. Which is great Kentucky bourbon, mine. What a what a peculiar place, you know. I robbed this house before doing the debt mission and the dad was like, "I know you robbed us." And Arthur said, "I didn't know such thing." It'll fuck you. Okay. Well, no rush to collect on that debt. Uh, we need to go all the way back to Rhodes now to do the dirty deeds. What needs doing? Let's go. Look at my honour not being affected by the fact that I just murdered the man by booting his face in. I brutally beat the shit out of his dad while he hid under the bed where I knew it was. He just made the kid an orphan. No, his mother's fine. His mother started anew somewhere and he can always go and live with her, which I'm sure he'll do. The, the old man seemed like an abusive guy, hence why I didn't lose honour. Can Arthur can get raped as an Easter egg? I don't think he gets raped. I think he gets robbed. Actually, yes, he does get raped. It's a different, it's a different mission. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember that one now. It's just some random guy who sort of rapes him. <laughs> He's like, oh dear God. Whereas the um, the pig farm, they just rob him, don't they? The orphan maker, Ethan equals Joe Chill. What? Free real estate. What's going on over here? This will be. Oh no. It's Mr. Black and Mr. White. Can you guess which is which? What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean it's off. Mr. Black and Mr. White. How tall you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Mr. Black and Mr. White. Absolute goons. Cheeky sirs. Let's take down these posters then. Where are they? Well, I'll be hey there, Mr. Can't believe I'm back in bloody roads. How y'all doing? Morning, dear. Morning, Morning, Mr. Morning, sir. It's not exactly <laughs> Saint Denis, is it? Hey, I did this hey, mission as John Marston. You again, yeah. But, uh, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, better get out of here. There's a, a bunch of government that. agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. 
Uh, so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you don't seem too scared. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> what would you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs> So where's these wanted posters then in my town? They're just not here. Right, fuck it. Mr. Black and Mr. White could die. Oh, sir. Hey, boy. Hey, mister. How do you do? Hi, folks. Hey, mister. How do you do? Do two greets and antagonize to everyone. You get the funniest lines that way. Hey, friend. Hey. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Well, that's good. At least I was <laughs> till I laid eyes on you. What's it's all you good? Think? Calm down, <laughs> gentlemen. Hello? I do beg your pardon. Everything okay? Jesus, misery really does love company, huh? I don't nah, I'm to... only joking with you. I'm only kidding around. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Why, hello there, sir. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Oh. And you might be the simplest of the lot. <laughs> Take well, it easy. I'm just needling you. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll make sure the law puts this straight. Come on, put it away. We're kind of wanted now, already. We gotta get the law. Hello, I did not disturb the peace. How do you do, sir? Get back here. Hold it right there. I wouldn't trust that fella further than you could throw it. You stop right now. Mind yourself, bad news on two legs. Oh, cock. Ah. They did not mean to steal your coach, I'm sorry. I meant to talk to the guy and stole his coach. And by the way, I've lost that honor that I worked so hard to get. Which is great. So many funny lines like that. Yeah, I know, but it's not... Doesn't suit the place that I'm trying to go for here. Hello? Is there a sir in here? Wow. What a shithole. Can't believe I got wanted for telling a woman she was fucking thick. I regret that it's uh, oh, sorry. that's a nice animal you got there, thanks sir. Uh, I was talking about the horse. <laughs> yeah. Pretty standard. Oh, Hi there, mister. In. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. What bounty do I not have now? So I don't have a bounty all of a sudden. Right here for you, when you're ready. I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Blue water marsh. <laughs> Should be carrying a load of moonshine. Howdy, fellas. Well, hello there. Hello, sir. Well, that's great. Jump on the thing. Hey there, partner. Got any idea what time it is? I couldn't tell you. Okay, this is where I want to be. There's a bounty up there as well that I'm yet to do. Am I actually wanted in this here area? No, I'm not, but there's a couple of arse ones. Oh, they're Pinkertons. That'll be why. Bounty hunters. Classic gamers. People who want me dead because I chat shit about Grandad Steve. Allow me to prove it. They're pinky toms. 
Not lovely. Well, they're not quite Pinkertons, but they're not nice men. That being said, I don't want to get into a kerfuffle with them because all that will happen is I'll lose more honour than I can afford to. And I can't be dealing with that shit. Are you not going to shave and cut Arthur's hair? Uh, not yet. I'm going to go beat some people now. I mean, there's plenty of time for that. I mean, I've got to do that for the, um, the, the ship thing, haven't I? The ferry, sorry. The ferry bit. So that's when I'll do that, because until then, let's make him all messy and sir. Oh, Christ, wow, that was fucking amazing. Oh, okay, well done, horse. You didn't even try to swerve around it. Have a good one, Tommy. Yeah, take care, mate. Right, so. It's me, the sir. There's cows and that around here. I don't know about you, but Florida cracker cow. Lovely. Do you reckon they tell fortune in that? Hey, oh, wait, hang on. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. No, those are fortune cookies, not corn crackers. Right. And here you see my intelligence at its finest. Yeah. Arthur Morgan says hi. Try to get to level 10 beard. It clips through all the clothing, though. It's not nice. Get yourself out of there. Oh, God, don't mind me. What a joke. Hey, what are you doing there? You always this intrusive, ain't wise. Hey, shut it. You're done. <laughs> I did not murder, sir. Hey, you stop it. Yep, yep. Don't make this difficult. This ain't a discussion. Someone gonna Just die. shut up, damn it. I'm put you on. So much for being honorable. Oh, look, here we are. This is uh, Pleasants. See what we can find here in Pleasants, shall we? I believe that's what this place is called. There's a book here, but it's not here. Rather right, taking that shit. Otis Miller and the boy from York. Or is it New York? I don't even know. I don't read it. I'm right, here looking for my dough. It's so difficult to look for money <laughs> in this deadest member town. Fuck this place. How do gaming sirs? I don't care if there's anything in there, we're continuing on our track. Yep. We can always come back here at a later date if there's something that I've missed, but in my video I don't remember anything really of note. Very hard to be totally honourable in the game. Indeed. This is what makes it challenging, but I have not moved any further than this level of honour almost all game, so... Oh, this is the highest amount of honour I've ever had. What's up, Uncle Ben? Uncle Sweet Chair, the sweetest, sir. Do -do 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 -do. This is the bit where you're gonna want your guns out in case you run into uh, what I'm about to run into. Which is this. Whoa! <laughs>
Oh no, I'm being chased out of the woods by this sir. Uh... Behind me, come on, turn. Wow. That's yep. the night folk, every man. We've just encountered the night folk. We're having a really potent playthrough where everything is just triggering as we go. The rain falls mission raises your honor a crazy amount. I guess it's waiting for that for it to go any higher. Yeah, I think it's in I think it's trying to keep your honor down until chapter six. I just killed one of those. Um, it's great. <laughs> I love murdering birds. I don't know what you're on about. Is that what I think it is? It's a turtle. It's an alligator snapping turtle. You can kick it. Can you kick an alligator snapping turtle? That's what I want to learn. Let's do it. See what happens. Oh, I just kicked an alligator snapping turtle and ran away. Yep. <laughs> I did kill it, to be fair. Who we got here? Let's remove that marker, rapid time. So I'm really Mr. Chill vibes here. It's all right, isn't it? Hey, out of the road. Well, I've just robbed a moonshine wagon. It better be bloody worth it. Come on, horse. You've got to have to follow now. It's a lot of shine, isn't it? I tried to kick a crocodile to death once. Didn't go well. I didn't even know you could kick things to death until Cameron kicked a frog in online. I was like, oh, okay, that works. And suddenly I'm kicking every animal I see. An effective hunting method, kicking. How Arthur draws comment on things he finds is cool. Yeah, Arthur's a much more artistic individual than John. He's a much more intelligent character as well. By design, obviously. He's better educated, essentially, because John doesn't really care about that shit. He can't draw, but Arthur can. I'm more... I can't draw for shit, so... You know. Show some pure skill in that. After you're a wanted man. Oh my fuck. I'm a lovely man. I'm a lovely sir. You can't stop me. I'm bringing a cart of moonshine into Saint Denis for some random professor goon who just wants to do something really stupid, no doubt. Hey, mister. So, I got your moonshine. You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Bell. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you Minecraft. helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Oh, well, this is the electric it's chair, a chair, is it? Full of electricity and quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners. I don't remember this. Judgment. Even yes. though I did judgment. do the electric chair yeah. missions. Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring That's a horse. this town into the next century. This is the most yes. amazing angle I've ever that? seen in a game. 
Where the fuck did my horse just go? Okay, first things first, we're going to do the Mary Linton okay, um, mission. Let's do that. Could possibly Charles shut down there? Oh no! Yeah, we're not dealing with that shit right now. How do you do, sir? Anyway, hello. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hello. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! Oh no! You came. Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> There's a couple of yukles. Story of this DLC should be a mango farming simulator in Tahiti. Sure. Arthur. Hello, man. Do you really run into the whole problem dodging it? Yeah. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. Toothpaste. You That's code. a choice. Or but whatever you use back is, then, because teeth cleaning has been a right. thing for however long. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? I think I've... Is that what I think Arthur looks pretty sick in this help? beard length. Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am. I should have asked someone else, but. But I'm we, the we best guy. You know I'll get on that. Decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. Well, uh, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Patriarch. Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. I'm going to change this jacket in a He's bit, been actually. Gambling, Although I like this outfit a lot, though. Other I, I like it. It's just nice. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse. What the fuck is Elgato doing? Yard. Come on, then. Don't. Hang on. Elgato's crashed on me. I'm not happy about it. And it's closed. Wow. Fucking hell. Right, I love it when it does that. Okay, let's go over to the task manager. Let's end every single process that it is. Let's go in here. Let's end the, let's end the tasks. It just needs to be ended. There's no process that says Elgato on it. That's what we need. Essentially, is no process whatsoever. Good. Now let's open it up. Fucking love when that happens out of nowhere. The software just crashes. It's beautiful. Don't even know why it does it. I don't understand. It just happens. Technology hates us. And that is the proof. Come on. We could be here a while because it takes forever to open up when it's doing shit.
And then sometimes she says, oh, Arthur, take a shot. Yeah, well, right now I'm waiting for the software to open. Now I have to reapply it here as a... Show sidebar real quick. I need that to be at that. Hide sidebar, All right. Be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers oh, enough. No. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation. Penelope does hate me. Hates me too. Oh, Arthur, I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But. Well. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream. Show your friends. Know. Hit subscribe if you're new and all that. I'll be great. Wait for the robot rebellion. Yeah. Won't be laughing then. He's using me, bro. She didn't. Right, okay, cool. Now, where's this fucking hat? So, what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old neck. Egg. Standing? He's usually falling down. <laughs> Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. What? Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. I like we'd be streaming Dream tomorrow. I don't know. Very funny. You can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Then so to me, you might like. Apologies. Smack the shit out of you. Oh. Right I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I have no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave he insists. Damn nuisance. He insists. Right. You're as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Follow Mr. Gillis. Okay. This way. This guy's kind of a dick. Yeah, you're telling me. Keep your distance or you'll be spotted. Just punch Mary. Can we punch Mary? Oh no. This is fucking well. Just in case. I've heard that one before. Wait for it. You can see why I has such a high opinion of himself. Let's make sure I was on fist. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He 
He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. How is that gonna help anything? He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was a mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself come, come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. God damn it, horse, where are you? Where's the horse when you fucking need it, though? Come on. This is not moving. Get back here, sir. You stop right now. That'll get me arrested above all else. Oh. oh! Of course. Fucking course. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Don't kill the buyer. Can I shoot the wheels on the wagon now? Oh, he's got a back thing. Hello, sir. Let's go. Hello. Goodbye, sir. <sighs> Drive to a secluded spot. This is insane. Oh, come on, you fucking horse retards. Last one, horse. Did Gillis put you up to this? Where are you taking me? 
to the great house of Odoom. Don't even know what that is. It's just a great house, I guess. You can't do this. Yes, I can, and I am. All right. Get Mary's brute from the bio. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Honorable way. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. That lost me honor. I just knocked him the hey fuck there, out. Girl. Yeah. So much for being reasonable. I fucking tonked the man. I just knocked him out. Don't pay him. But don't murder him. Don't pay him, beat him, but don't murder him. I paid him and then knocked him out. I can't have given up on the honor thing for now. I'm sure we'll get the high honor in chapter six. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. Take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. Loot him. Nah. You can keep what the money. What are you doing now? If you're beating me, you don't lose honor. Well, who cares? We've passed it now. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Yeah, let's do the theater. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm Fuck is up in there. <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to that? for once in your brainless that's life. That's melted chocolate, that. You're not a very nice woman. I thought it was only on that finger bar. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite oh, well. dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Great. Sort of beautiful. Scrammed now, it's dealt with. Gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. They just become more honorable as the game goes on. How about here on the right? Sure. Make After a move. You. Random person on the internet, it's because he doesn't have long to live. Why are we here? Why can't we be up there where I usually go? <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington. I can't tag in eyes in, but no. Of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. We're having a good As time. A child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting to know. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. All right. 
I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or I wish I could stand up and shoot him goods. and watch a lot of hentai. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Kaminsky! Robin Kaminsky is... okay. Charming. If you want to use Robin Kaminsky... Oh. That's Robin Kaminsky. I know what's kicking off. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all this love off. called <laughs> San Denis. <laughs> they come from Road Stop, Perry and Valentine, singing a song and drinking wine. Across by you swamp and over the sea, we're heading down to San Denis. No. If your wagon is broken to the blacksmith shop, don't worry yourself. Telephone song. Not there yet. I should have put the massacre of Sam Denis when I ended shooting out for a laugh in that video to this song instead, but I chose not to. I chose to use the telephone one. Boo. <laughs> Stop singing about geography. <laughs> I always do quite enjoy going to the States. <laughs> yeah, it's a standard time. Pubic mice. Oh no, she's off. She's absconding before she can sing about her mobile phones. We said stop singing about geography not five seconds ago, though, didn't we? Look at the flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she's pure. Get off the stage. I assure you, she can charm any beast, Come any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> oh dear. Miss Antoinette Sanservino. Yeah. Stop saying about geography. Half <laughs> the Morgan 1899. Oh, this is pretty cool. Let's see what antagonise does about this one. Phonies. Phony. <laughs> oh god, we're having fun with this. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Mm. Shoot the fucker. Hard to believe that in another year it'll be 1900. Yeah, exactly. He's a mad man.
I just finally accept it goes wrong on the stage, but it's done. How do you make it go horribly long, wrong? That's what I want to know. <laughs> if we keep antagonizing, maybe it will. I'm hoping it goes horribly wrong because there's nothing better than watching someone burn to death on a stage. I guess you can say the fire lady is hot. Okay, I'll leave now. Clever move. Boo. Yeah, fire gay. I wonder how we can make it go horribly wrong. Can we get kicked out? That's what I want. It just happens random. Trash. This is absolute trash. Oh no. Well, she didn't burn the stage. So, what can you do? The shows can't go wrong on this date. Enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. Probably not. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! Oh no. Make a move. Why is that an option? Oh no. Arthur Morgan. <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. I can't believe that's a thing. I find that amazing, you have to think, just make a move. Pretty sure this is copyrighted. Won't matter now, will it? Mm. Trying to make another move though. Can we shoot her? Can we shoot Mary Linton? Jesus Christ, I can't believe we can't murder Mary Linton. That would be great. <laughs> you just think they also she's surrounded by fire. I think it's purging. So what the hell would that man do? Why is he there? how it fades out whenever you stare back this way. I thought you were fucking dumb man. Mary Linton. Throw her under the trolley car. We heckle enough, can we get kicked out? What are you saying for yourself down these ways, eh? Nothing? You can't make a move again?
cool. What's next, I wonder? Is that it? Please be it. Go up and dance. Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure there's a double you space enjoy. in there. Thank you. We flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Very cool. Guess that's over then. Shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. I'm good to buy. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Go back in. Yes. We're here, I don't do crimes. Oh yeah, you won't understand that for a while, will you? It's a shame. Let's go get some honor back. Howdy, y'all. Hello, sir. Hello. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Mm-hmm. Hi, folks. You must like living here. Bonjour. Hello, sir. Careful. There's some dangerous folk around here. Run me over in that. Oh, okay. Don't run me over in that. Let me on. Let me on the trolley and I'll sit in a chair. We'll figure out what's next for the sir. Why is everyone staring at me hey, like I'm a weird serial sir? killer man? I'm not a serial killer. I'm a serial stabber. It is different. Hello, man. I'm a serial. That's a very sad rip. What a sick tune. He never made it, sad face. Yeah, it's a sadness. It's a right sadness. Before he could do anything, he caught the tuberculosis. Trying to get that honor back. The honor seems to be getting lower every time I look at it. Hello, officer. Hello, mister. Howdy. Hello. 
Hey there. Hello. Your face looks familiar. Uh huh. Hello, Mister. Hey How there. How do you do? Ah, uh, maybe I was mistaken. Don't mind me. Hello, Mr. Hey, Mister. Hey, Hello. partner. How are you, ma'am? Hello. Hello, ma'am. You should be careful who you speak to around here. Hello, sir. So welcome to our humble hey there, partner. Damn, get lost. Hey there, mister. I can't possibly Not help you. you if you don't tell me what you need. <clears throat> what should Chief? I do for you? I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric that? chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Here we are, sir. I can't be asked for this shit. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Now you're just taking up space in my police house. Doesn't like his police house being spaced. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That dead eye core needs sorting the fuck out. Regret now. Hey there. Howdy, partner. I suppose assaulting Howdy, a man. Mister. Oh dear. Who's this sweet sir? Is home there? Anything to spare for a blind man? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. I can steal his money, or I can leave. You all right, girl? <laughs> He's off on the dip. Wait. What? He's not blind. Hey there. Thought you were blind. What? Uh, uh, no, you must be thinking of another blind you piece fella. of shit. No, no, Think I'll no, let you get no. away with this? I'm just trying to get by here. Oh, come on, it's just a few coins. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, well, he's fine. Out of the damn way. He's just not actually blind. Makes him a right cock and balls, but you know what? Who's complaining here? I'm not the sir. Come on, girl. How y'all doing? What's going on here then? What a goon. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? Yes. You, some years. you must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, He's fake and kill him. Right by this fella's wife. You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. 
Oh dear. What a sweaty man he is. So the blind man was Jake Paul before YouTube existed. What, bullshitting his viewers and everyone else? I don't know. Doesn't seem quite like a... I don't, I don't really... I'm not convinced. I think it's just a random loot bag. Just the sir. Just, just the blind sir. Was there just a mangy dog there and I just bulldozed it with my horse? Hey, move! Hey there, mister! Why are you doing this? There's a pig there. What kind of pig is it? A, Ber a, a Berkshire pig. Okay. It's Berkshire, Hello, not Berkshire. Hello, sir. That honour is just. It's back up to where it was. So now I'm going to save real quick. The naked painting of Nigel at the gallery. I'm, sh I'm sure. I'm sure there is. What's your horse's name? Tahitian Tickle. No, I don't need to save again. I've already just done that. Ah, hello, friend. Hello, Professor. Professor. Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So. The chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. <laughs> Find him for me, and help me put him out of his misery. The professor is a serial killer. Ninety-five dollar reward. Hello. Good night, mother. Here. Why, this is all coming together wonderfully. Sorry, my mother's just going to bed. Of the puzzle. She's heading back off tomorrow. She's touched base for a night, so then she's going off camping elsewhere. So, you know, happy days. Okay. Fucking hell. Alright, let's go. Let's abscond into the eve. Yes. Out of the way. Hey there. There's actually a painting of him, not even joking. I'm sure there is. Because I've played the mission before, I just don't remember yeah. that. I just remember there's a lot of paintings of naked people's wives. Well, or, or no, just people's naked wives, shall I say. When you stop in the stream, probably soon. I mean, I won't be long now, no doubt. Oh. Still free her. Get some honor back. Problem? 
I crashed into a horse. It's not a... Yep. Okay, girl. Here we are, trying to be honourable. This game's clunky gameplay gets in our way. <laughs> oh well. I don't even know where that dead person came from. Oh wait, no, I killed him. It was a horse that was the problem. I've even thrown off your horse. I don't even know. Too many. Far too many. Charles Chatonet is one of my favourite characters in Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, he's a good guy. Let's have a Gret. I love the old Gret. It's the horse's stamina I need to pay attention to, though, isn't it? If you're going to sleep, it's nearly 2 o'clock at night here. It's just gone midnight here. Which is pretty cool. Emerald Ranch. What is there at Emerald Ranch that needs doing? There is surely something if I recall. Nope, nothing. Nothing of use. Fuck it. Subscummed. He's got me travelling some distance for this, doesn't he? Why is the horse a spastic? Come on, sir. Let's give him some scram. They got the wrong man. You're after my brother Petey. Taking this Petey's one in, stay out of our trouble. way. Why don't you fellas let him go, huh? Yeah. Stay back or you'll be sorry. They called you a woman killer, not a Oh dear. It's gonna ask me to go this way now, isn't it? Of a rough terrain. Instead of directing me in the most convenient route. There are wolves on my back as well, we need to be with. Lonate McDaniels. I'm gonna assume that that camp is probably my best bet. So. That being said, why don't we... I'm here for Wilson McDaniels. Anyone gets in the way, gets a bullet. Okay, that's that guy. Wilson McDaniels. Come on, horse. Come on, horse. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, fuck. Where did he go then? But Daniel's back to Professor Bell. Because we're back to Professor Reed, the bounty is worth it as the dollars we offer and the bounty is amazing. Indeed. We'll find out. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't rape. All I did was graze my life. <sighs> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail, eat. I'm taking you to a professor I know. <laughs> what in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. Damn. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't going to die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Dude, that's going to be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor... Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on him to kill you. You may. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and Run a large electric current through your system. You got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. Just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Well, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled, strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> We're gonna kill this man for no reason other than the fact that it's to advance science. This guy's going to the naughty chair. The real American naughty chair. Let's not try to overtake him past this tree. Far to go. Hold on tight now. 
<laughs> this is funny. There's this guy going to the naughty chair. Jesus fucking Christ, this horse is retarded. First chance I get, I'm getting rid of this horse. I'm going to replace it with something that's good. Let's scram some shit and get that health up. Smoke a grep. And scram some biscuits and that. I think I'm in desperate need of Pearson's stew. Oh, You're really? Right, Put a bullet through his head humanely, indeed. my humane electric ending facilitator uh, there'll be money enough for you sir well, let's hope all right let's get our our um our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration oh do come and watch it'll be amazing come along okay then girl I don't even get fat in this game. You can do. It takes some effort though. That being said, I might just be there. I don't think I am, but look at how wild his hair has gotten. Dear God. That's what I want to know. Let's so return to camp and wrap up the stream. That would be a good way to go, wouldn't it? There, mister. Look at how much honor we don't have. Trying to be honourable and it's not going my way though. Hi there, mister. Hey, mister. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Hey, mister. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Hi there, mister. Buddy. Hey there. Oh, thunderstorm in that. Standard does. Hey, partner. Howdy there. I love the way you can get fat in this game is the last message I read. Good night, everyone. Um, see you, Sean, if you're off. We're about to head back to camp and wrap up anyway, so... Come on. No. Thanks for the two streams today, Ethan. No worries. Go. Thank you, sir. Why is this kind sir so close to our gaff? He can't be doing any of that shit. Somebody, please help me. Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, 
are you? Please, you gotta help me. Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but. Oh, we found it. This gun is it. You gotta do All right, where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. Right, let's go do this. This is my opportunity to get my honor back up. If I didn't brutalize a snapping turtle on the way. There we go, on his back. You saved my honor! Christ! What a mess! Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them, and I don't want them riding indoors. Got a nice amount of money for this. Indeed. Arthur Nice Morgan. like you <laughs> there's some money I put away in the sack there it ain't enough but please take it I can antagonize her or I can take the pee oh thank you again you my garden angel appreciate it good luck to you What a lovely sir for a lovely mare. Epic first person gunfight. Will you do Red Dead Redemption 1 to complete this playthrough? I don't know. Maybe. Thunderstorm to scare the subject. Right, let's get back to the, um, the humble abode to wrap up. Because we want to be back in camp, ideally. It's only around the corner anyways. First saloon I've seen this mission go on fire. Well, the saloon I've seen this mission go on fire. What? I don't understand. We need to kippo and restore that dead eye core. I think that's the main thing. First things first, let's do some. Let's get some supplies in. It's plenty that needs doing. Camp funds. Okay, where's the where's the camp box upstairs? Okay, cool. Hey. Uncle Lumbago. Hey, That's what I call guy. You boys don't know you're born. This is Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Morning, Jason. Uh, Morning. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. The bed is on fire. Boy, <laughs> she, she died. I don't uh oh. Sad ain't 
give all debts to the ledger. Contribute, we'll give what items we have. Ledger. Nine years old, I've been living on my wits. <laughs> Chances to see that. Well, that'd be a joy. Yeah. I tell you, sharks are nothing compared to human beings. Hang on, what was that? Was there something in there that we hadn't, you know? There's something that we hadn't gotten. Let's see if it is. Appalling. Dreadful. You know, no, we've got it all. We've got it all. It's fine. We've upgraded the camp to its fullest potential, besides from aesthetics, because who the fuck cares? <laughs> okay, let's go get this Kippo done so we can actually recover that dead eye core. First things first. Jesus Christ. There we are, we're lovely and nice now. Is Arthur building his own little community? Not quite. I am the lovely sir. Let's head on down the stairs and enjoy our new day. That's <sighs> cold blooded, eh? Behind it all. Maybe you don't know me well enough yet, Mrs. Adler. I like how the subtitles actually say the wrong thing. Because there was no just in that sentence. Sometimes it has outright typos. It's funny. It's the only oversight in the entire game of the subtitles. So forgivable. So. I guess we're sorted for now then. Look at that. That is a cool outfit. I like it. Okay, so we're going to wrap up now because, let's face it, streams run its course. Is George still streaming? Oh, yes, what a boy. Right. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. He's gone. He's finished. He's finished. George has finished. Oh, it's a shame. He's actually concluded his stream. I'm very disappointed. He um He wrapped it up. However long ago it was. It says he's still live, but... Yeah, he, just, he, he literally ended it a minute ago. Ah, oh, what a shame. Anyways, thank you all for watching this stream. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. I would really appreciate it. Um, tomorrow we're streaming the Assassin's Creed Odyssey DLC, and I uh, literally can't think of anything worse, but it's what's going to need, need to be done, isn't it? 
Oh, I like how we've got less subscribers than we had when I started the first stream of the two today. Anyways, I'll see you all very soon with another video. We'll stream at some point. Until then, goodbye.